It's Costco time, y'all. We need like a Costco theme music. Like, one Costco needs like theme music that we can use. So we'd be like, it's Costco time, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Like we do every month. Um, I have the receipt out here because I was gonna tell the total, but oh, you took it. James took it away from me. Here. So today we spent $434.89. I don't know what to say about that, but this is what happened. What side do you want to start on? The meat side. The meats. Um, okay. So we got hamburger patties. We got them two months ago. I think we got them in January, right? And we got the cheap ones. The, um, I guess it's just like the regular ground sirloin. And we love them. So last month we upgraded ourselves and we got, was it the Angus? We got the Angus ones and they weren't that great. So we went back to the cheap one. I like cheap meats, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do a, um a cube steak over a new york strip any day so so we got our hamburger patties always gotta get a rotisserie chicken to shred up um james what is a half ham what's a carving carve half ham it's ham okay so we got a half ham <laughs> i've never seen a ham like this before um just Carnitas, ham. what? It's just ham. Oh, okay, it's just ham. What do you, is it cooked already? Yeah. So you just slice it? Just slice it up. And then you get your own sandwich meat. A lot oh, cheaper. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. We got carnitas, those are back. Last month we had to get the pulled pork and it was just not as great. Again, I am a creature of habit. So the pulled pork, I mean the carnitas are back and they're better than ever, I'm gonna assume. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, we got this two pack um, of pepperoni. This is something that I used to, at one point I had to shop at Sam's Club because we didn't live in a Costco area. Um, and your girl wasn't about to drive two hours to get to Costco, like that's insane. So we had to go to Sam's Club and Sam's Club used to carry the pepperonis that way. And I was really sad that Costco didn't, but now they do. So pepperonis are back in my life. Um, Cause it's cumbersome to go to the grocery store and buy pepperonis. Um, we got, ground beef which i did not take out of the bag because it's like leaking it's like fluidy stuff we got hot dogs because james will eat all of those <laughs> we have some italian sausage some hot italian sausage we got chicken breast um we have been eating these um butterfly like he's been butterflying them and then just kind of cooking them and seasoning and putting them in different dishes what do you call those like fister stickles Fister stickles? What do you call those things that? A fi What's a fister stickle? I have no idea. You used some fancy word when I side cooked it. I put the spinach dip inside it. Oh my god! What's it called? <laughs> it's one of those fancy a, California words. A fister stickle. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna call it that from now on. But no, you made schnitzel. That's right. Oh my god! Fizzle snitcher. <laughs> Where is all these extra syllables coming from? I never heard the word until you said it. So. Schnitzel? You've never heard of schnitzel before? I heard of some kind of dough thing that had schnitzel in it, but I don't know. I heard of wiener schnitzel. That's a restaurant. Yes. So I never heard of a chicken called a schnitzel. So it's whatever. What did you call it? A fizzer schnitzel. Fitzer, 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 Fitzer Fitzer schnitzel? schnitzel? We're going to have to watch the replay on that. <laughs> But we're gonna just go ahead and put a Strickland 2020 on that. Fitcher Snickle. Okay, whatever. And I'm gonna name it that. We're gonna post a recipe for that. But I'm gonna make him remake it. But don't gonna... deny that it was good. Oh no, it was delicious, which is why I was like, you should have made a video of this. So I'm gonna have you remake it. And we're legitimately gonna call it that. I have to replay the video to see exactly what you said. What the hell? Anyway. I was just trying to make up the sounds I heard. <laughs> Schnitzel. That's it. Yeah, so a fizzle stinks. Anyways. Thank God you're not an English teacher. Yes. Um, we got the bacons, of course. I always get the bacons. 
Although we didn't actually eat all the bacon last time. Mm -mm. That is shocking. Whatever. Um, got my turkey sausage. So I don't know if y'all know, but this turkey sausage is my jam. It has been my jam for years and years and years. And it, I think it has a little bit of sugar in it. Um, just like a teeny tiny bit. Um, yeah, it's literally the last ingredient is sugar. Um, but I've been eating these for years and I love them so much. And I've been going through it with my Costco because mine didn't stock them. They're like, oh, we don't have those here. Okay. What's the card count? And I had to, um, it is one for three links. Okay. So it's, I mean, and that's actually gone down because it used to be, I think it used to be two for three links. So, um, yeah, so they started stocking it. But last time we went, they didn't have any. This time, James just randomly saw three boxes and that's all they had. So we got one, two, three, all of them. Um, cause that's how we do. We got our yogurt. Um, some for me, some for James. Mostly for you. Most of them are for James. That's a lot. We shit. Are you serious? We actually split this very evenly. I get mixed berries. You get mixed berry and, and you get half of the vanilla. Sometimes. I get strawberry and the other half of the vanilla. Not sometimes. You just eat yours before I finish all of mine. That doesn't mean that you're not... We're trying to do a grocery haul. Can you not argue with me about how much you do and don't get to eat in this house? You just always say all the food here is mine. It is. But then when it's actually a food, it actually is yours. I'm not going to get to eat yours. a single one of these hot dogs. I'll save you one. You will not. I'll save you one. You will not. One. And then you're going to be like, you didn't eat it fast enough, so I had to eat it myself. Continue. Anyways. <laughs> Continue. Um, I'm going to go around because I want to get to the stuff in the middle last. Okay. So we got... Baby Bell cheese, the white cheddar ones, and the cashier, not even our cashier, but the cashier next to us was super pumped about this. He's like, oh, how much was the Baby Bell cheese? And I'm like, what? I don't know. <laughs> um, he's like, that's the best one. So we got that. <laughs> um, of course, we got our shredded cheddar. We got our sandwich cheese, and I just want y'all to be proud because usually we buy this sandwich cheese, these packs, and... We don't finish them before they go bad. We finished it last month, so score. Um, we got some brie cheese, which will be eaten exclusively by James. Don't let him fool you. Um, and I got, what is this? Orange windmill. It's Dutch cheese with Mediterranean spices in it. So I don't know. We'll see if that's any good or not. Probably be sucking that down with some pepperonis. And Oh, we got these. So have you guys tried these? Let me know if anyone has tried these. I I can't decide if they're going to be good or not. Someone told me that they're so thin they have no flavor and you don't really notice them. It just kind of like makes it easier to kind of like wrap things up. But I feel like I'm going to be, I'm going to think they're disgusting. So yeah. I don't know, but we're gonna give them a try. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried these and if you like them. Um, we got eggs, of course. Who doesn't get eggs when they go to Costco? Heavy whipping cream. James has decided that he loves heavy whipping cream in his coffee and we'll drink nothing else in his coffee. So we had to get the Costco. We had to get it at Costco because it's cheaper. They don't actually have a bigger size, but it's just cheaper there. Um, onto some vegetable stuff. Oh, well, I guess this kind of goes with the dairy. The, um, the yogurt style dip, the tzatziki dip, that's for me. See, one thing that's totally for me. Onto the vegetables. We got some rice cauliflower. This came in super handy. Um, we don't really like plan it for any meals, but like there's lots of meals where we're like, use some cauliflower rice instead. So it's nice to have that on hand. Some peppers. For James, some guacamole cups. This month I only got one thing. I didn't get both things, so be happy about that. Um, okay, we're we're extra. So these are cucumbers for James. The mini I like ones. Them cute. He likes some cute, cute cucumbers. Oh, um, and these are cucumbers for moi. There's a joke in there somewhere, and you guys feel free to make it, but I'm not gonna do it. So. Here we go. We have two kinds of cucumbers on hand. Um, spinach. And I will say the spinach is exclusively for James. I never eat the spinach. 
I never eat the spinach. He's making, he's mocking me behind the camera, but I don't. She ate it in my schnitzel crisps. In, in the what? In my schnitzel crisps. My, That's not even what you said. My fits of nizzle. Oh my god. My fizzizzle. You have to stop. You have got to stop. Knizzle. Stop. But it had spinach in it. Okay, so I um, <laughs> accidentally ate some of his spinach. We got raspberries. I was looking because one of them looks like it's dead. Eat that one first. No, you eat it. We got raspberries. We got blackberries. We were going to get blueberries, but the grocery store next to our house sells blueberries and they're like gigantic ones. So um, we are going to hold off on that and just get them another time. But that's enough berries for now. So you can see we got this charcuterie tray board tub. <laughs> whatever it is we got this um because it's already cut up and your girl be lazy sometimes so it's nice to have it already cut up we also got these ratio i guess they're they're called crunchy bars it's i guess it's like a nut bar granola bar what have you these mm, these were expensive i think they were like 17 dollars, weren't they they were expensive for 16 well actually there's 16 bars in there so, I was trying to see if I could find them on here. I thought they were like $17.99, but I don't see, oh yeah, mm -hmm. $17.99. For 16 bars is not bad, but I do wonder how big these are. Let's see how big the bars themselves are. Ouch. Am I opening this right? No, I don't think I am. <laughs> but they are, what are they? Is it one flavor? Yeah, it's one flavor. There's two net carbs, 12 grams of protein. And impossible to open. Impossible to open. Okay, so the bar doesn't take up the whole bag, so let me just squeeze it to one side. So, okay, it's at the edge now. So it's this big, which I mean, that's a dollar and a couple cents worth of nuts, apparently. Give it a taste. Let's find out if it was 16 bars of crap or not. <laughs> well, the good thing is it's Costco, and you can return anything to Costco if no matter, like they don't really care why you return it. So, oh, it's like the um, is it the Nature Valley, Nature's Valley, the ones that are like really crispy? Crunchy? Yeah. <laughs> That's decent. Okay. It's not like amazing. I don't think it's worth seventeen dollars. Is it worth a dollar a bar? So. If it were in a vending machine, I would buy it and they would charge me a dollar for it and I would still give them a dollar. For whatever reason, I don't feel like I would buy this box <laughs> at like a dollar a bar. Although, I don't know, I might be wrong because this might come in super handy. Um, it's Yeah, it's decent. It has a very mild flavor. You want to try it? Keep going. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I like it. I'm glad we picked it up though. Mm. What do you think? I really think. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then as we were checking out, I happened to glance back and I saw something that said keto on it. And I'm like, okay, when stuff says keto on it, that doesn't really mean it's keto, right? There's someone trying to sell you keto products. But I asked James to go run and see what it was. Um, so apparently it's a snack mix. And this one is what? For a quarter of a cup, it's two net carbs, um, four total carbs. Um, and it's almonds, pepitas, dried cheddar cheese. That's called Nature's Garden Keto Mix? Yes. Um, pecans, macadamia nuts, you know, whatever, um, Lactus B420 is. It's also in here. So, Some kind of milk. This, um, is basically something you can make yourself at home. Um, I don't know how much that one was. What is that? I wonder how much that is, actually. That one it was like one of the last things we bought. Oh, $12.79. So honestly, with the amount of nuts that are in there, it's probably cheaper to buy the bag. Nuts are expensive. Um, I don't know, but go, should we just try this one too? Go for it. See what it tastes like. See if it's worth a $13 bag. <laughs> it's got probiotics. Uh oh. It smells good. Get a little cheese ball and some nuts. Okay. So it's like trail mix for ketos. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good. Yeah. So it's a bar. 
or the nuts here at Better Buy, if you had to pick one. Probably the snack mix. This is? Yeah. Okay. They're both relatively close in price. Yeah. But I mean, I'm glad we bought both of them. Like I said, the bar is actually decent. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy it every time. It's not like amazing. Like you don't have to write home about it, but to buy just to have would be good for like road trips. Um, I mean, these snacks or if you like spend a lot of your time away from home, you just need something to throw in your bag um, to just like eat really quick. If you like, I don't know, like if you have like highs and if you have like lows throughout the day where you're like, oh my God, I'm starving. Um, I actually prefer the bar. You do? Mm -hmm. I mean, it does have a little, because it has a little bit of the sweet flavor in it. Yes, I prefer that. But, so, okay. So, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning, but this is like a mega haul. This is actually not everything that we got from Costco. This is everything we could reasonably fit on the counter from Costco. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to clear this stuff off. We're going to get the rest of the stuff up here. We've also got stuff from um, Target that we grabbed. It's not necessarily food related, but we're just going to throw it in because we did it today. And we also went to Sprouts. Yes. So, let me clear this off and get the rest of the stuff up here, and you'll see why we spend so much money today. Okay, so this is the rest of everything that we bought today. Um, so, to finish off Costco really quick, we got, well, we got green beans, canned green beans, strictly for James. Sabrina does not eat green beans. Um, we got another pack of the Monster Energy drinks, the zero sugar ones. Um, this is the variety pack. Um, so last time we just got, it was just the, the white one. I don't know what the flavors are called, but, oh, I guess it's called zero, zero Ultra. I guess that's the flavor. So this one has the purple and the orange in it. I don't know. And we got a flat of Diet Dr. Pepper. I, honestly, this will probably last, last for the rest of the year. I think I bought a 12 pack in like January and there's still two or three left over from it. So, but it was on sale at Costco. So that's the end of our Costco haul. And then we went to Target, which is on this side of the counter. And then we went to Sprouts. Um, let's just go in the order that we went in. Target, we didn't really get any food at Target, but like I just thought maybe you guys would want to know what we picked up. So we had to pick up toilet paper at Target um, because everyone thinks they're going to get coronavirus and they need copious amounts of toilet paper. I'm not sure if I really understand. Um, we are not doomsday preparing with the toilet paper, but I basically buy a pack from Costco every other month and this was our month to buy it. They just didn't have any because... Again, coronavirus. I don't really get it, but whatever. So I had to buy some at Target, and I'm mad because this was $30, and I usually buy the gigantic pack at, at Costco for like $22. So I'm angry at everyone who thinks that coronavirus is going to require them to have all the toilet paper because you cost me money. <laughs> um, we also got some paper or some styrofoam plates. Um, I think this was to make the price for like a discount or something i don't know um we got some basic pillows some trash bags that smell this smells like the ocean it smells really good some ziploc bags i got some um silverware for my office um some lotion i don't think that i have mentioned this like if i did i would have mentioned it in tea with brie but I have been on the longest quest to find lotion because um, the lotion that I usually use is has been discontinued. Someone's car alarm is going off. Um, and so we just keep buying different lotions. Seriously? <laughs> um, I got some nail polish because I'm going to try to um, paint my own nails. We'll see how that goes. Oh, we did get a food. Um, James got his Smart Sweets. They have Swedish fish, but they're berry flavor. Y'all, these are real good. I do not like Swedish fish, but this berry flavored one is delicious. Highly recommend um, if you're into Smart Sweets. I think these are kind of like gonna be our go-to movie snacks. 
since we can't have any other. Listen, if you work at Regal movie theaters, like somewhere in the corporate office, please stock Smart Sweets at your theater so we can buy your candy. We can't eat anything that you sell at the concession stand. So if you would just get these in stock, everything would be great. You'd be catering to the whole keto crowd. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I got razor refills. Oh, I got some, meh, there we go. Some low carb tortillas, the whole wheat kind. Um, I don't know, some more Tupperware, some suction cup hooks. <laughs> but I also got these beautiful casserole dishes. Honestly, I don't need them. Can you turn it? Yeah. I honestly don't need them, but they're so pretty and I thought they would look really cute in videos when we make dishes for you guys. So, you know, I bought them. Um, that's it from Target. What do we spend, like $170 at Target? Roughly. Yikes. And then we went to Sprouts. Um, I don't, we just spent like $30 at Sprouts. It wasn't really that much, but you know, by the time we went to Costco and Target. <laughs> so I went there because I wanted to see if I could find the Chompies, the um, cinnamon raisin bread. So I did actually find that. Um, and then last time we got their regular bread. I don't, I forgot what it's, I forgot what it's called. But this time around I got the sesame seed as well. Um, and then James found these, I didn't even look at these when you picked them up. Um, uncured bacon and cheese egg bites. And then this one is country style sausage and cheese. So these egg bites, they are, what is this, one gram of carbs? I think so. Three for the whole package, but mm. I mean, it's pretty good. Well, this one's three, this one might be less actually. Um, so these look actually really good. No, they're both three. These look really good. I don't know if we got these on camera or not, um, but you got two egg bites in there and they cook in 90 seconds. So those look really delicious. And then I decided that I would get this not cornbread mix um, because there's lots of things that we eat. Like I think we had a roast once, which would have been really good with some cornbread. So like some like roast and some collard greens and some cornbread or some not cornbread as it were. Um, would be really good. So we're going to try this out and see how this is. And lastly, we picked up some enlightened bars. Um, they had several flavors there. And we decided that we would taste them and see if there's a difference between the carb counts. Well, so, we know there's a difference in the carb count, but whether or no, not it's if worth like a, flavor Yeah, wise. like if it's, I mean, because this one is one net carb. Yeah. Which, like, if you can get away with one net carb, why wouldn't you? But, like, what if it's gross? So then there's these, which are, they have a, a, a couple of flavors that are four net carbs, um, which I'm actually very hopeful for. But then there's some flavors that are six net carbs. Yeah. So we're gonna try to see if we can get away with the one carb, one net carb, if that one's good enough, or if it just tastes like poop, if we can, if we have to go to the four net carbs, and if that one still tastes like poop, then we have to go to the six. So we're gonna do a taste test, um, and I guess we'll let you guys know what we think. But that is the extent of our shopping. All right, well, Thank you guys for watching, um, for looking at all the stuff that we bought. If you want to come over and help me unpack any of it, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like this video if you liked it. If you liked it, like it. Does that make sense? Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Is that how, is that how this works? Sounds better. All right. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And we will see you in the next video.